Well, hey friends, I'm behind the camera today because I'm not quite feeling my best, um, but I did want to film this video and share with you some things that I picked up at the thrift store recently. Um, and then I also have a bit of a haul from a liquidation store that we have here in our area. Um, when Target left Canada, this store mainly carried Target merchandise. Probably about 90% of it was Target. Now they have everything from Gap to Walmart to all kinds of different stores, um, including still Target. So I went there and I picked up some things. So I'm going to show you what's in uh, what I picked up there. But first, we're going to start with my thrift store haul. Um, I found these two throw pillows, and I was so excited about them. The thing about our thrift store is that it's not thrifty. Um, it's quite expensive. These pillows were each $3.99, and I was so surprised to see that they're actually two matching ones. It doesn't have a tag on them to say where they came from, but they kind of remind me of something that they would sell at Pier 1, although if they were Pier 1 pillows, they would have them on there. My husband actually used to work at Pier 1, and both my sister-in-laws do. Um, my one actually sister-in-law actually manages a Pier 1, so we are quite familiar with their cool stuff. Anyways... They're super cute. There were no stains or spots on them, so I was excited to find those. <clears throat> and then next I found this mason jar lamp. And the neat thing about it is, is that it's actual, it actually says mason on it. Um, sometimes you can find, um, especially in Canada, different brands of um, mason jars, including like Kerr, which um, oftentimes Michael's craft store sells, but this one says mason. I'm not super duper thrilled about the gold, so I don't know if I'm going to... I know I can switch the ring out. Um, I could probably switch the lid as well but um, to like silver, but I would have to drill it and I'm just not thinking I'm going to go that route. Um, so I don't know if I'll chalk paint that maybe. I don't know. But for now, it's gold and it is what it is. And as you can see, I really love kind of glass jars. I will take the potpourri out because that is not my thing. Um... But yeah, I was excited to find that. And then was this little guy, this little um, cow coffee creamer. So you all know that I love me some farmhouse stuff. And oftentimes when I go to the thrift store, I go when I have a feeling that I'm going to find something. And this day was a feeling kind of day. And when I saw this little guy, this was the second thing that I found. Um, I was like, oh, yes, <laughs> this makes it all worth it. So this little guy was $1.99. Oh, and the lamp. How much were you? Um, $7.99. Holy buckets. I did not realize that. Whoa, that's a lot. I did use a coupon and I was able to get 25% off of my order. But like I said, our thrift store is not thrifty whatsoever. So I have a few more things to show you. I'm going to go get those now. Okay, so this shirt is for my daughter, and it's for next school year. It's got a pocket here on the front. It's in perfect condition, absolutely beautiful. It looks brand new. Um, it was $5.49, and it is a Gap Kids shirt. So we got that for next year. Um, and then this also is for my son for next year. This is a 4T shirt. It is from the Children's Place. And again, just in perfect condition which I was super excited about, um, and it was $3.49. And then the other shirt for him, well, it's kind of like a pullover um, from Oshkosh, and this was also $3.49, and this will be for the fall. Okay, so I got him two pairs of swim trunks. This one um, has shark and fish on it, and these were $0.99. Cents. And then the next pair is just this plain orange pair. And these were $1.99. And then were these um, just kind of um, cotton, like, jersey uh, fabric uh, shorts. And these, I love buying him these shorts in the summer because they're perfect for playing outside with. They're lightweight, but um, they hold their shape well. And um, I always get them these shorts, and I was able to get them secondhand. So they were $1.99, and they're beautiful. They really just look like they've never been worn. And then the last pair of shorts were these. And who made these? Um, these are George brand from Walmart. Um, and again, I love these kind of cotton shorts. These are like a stiffer cotton with a drawstring waist. And these, I don't think will fit him this summer. These will probably have to be for next summer. These are 4T. And my little guy is in 3T right now, but he's got a very, very small waist. And I know these would just fall down on him. Anyways, uh, they were $1.99. And the last thing I picked up was this dress for my daughter. 
It's a really deep, beautiful teal color. Um, it's in perfect condition. It's got this cute little tool hanging out from the bottom. It was $11.99, so again, way more than you'd expect to pay at a thrift store. However, it is a lot cheaper than what I can get a party dress here um, in Canada. I'm always looking, and I'm always looking for bargains. Um, and even at the children's consignment stores, it's she's getting to a size that's a little more difficult for me to find good quality um, secondhand clothing for her, which is why she got so few pieces out of this particular haul. Um, so anyways, this will probably be for Easter. It could be, you know, just um, anytime really. She'll probably fit into this into the fall and she really loves uh, party dresses so this was absolutely perfect for her okay so now moving on to the haul from the liquidation store so these are target brand clothing this is cherokee um, one of the brands that they carry all of their winter clothing was two dollars and so i got this shirt for two dollars um this will be for probably next year the original price tag was five dollars and we can always do with a white shirt because they get so stained so quickly, but white goes with everything. And then was this really sweet little shirt. Now this actually may fit her right now. It's not quite showing up on camera, but it is sort of a shorter uh, shirt, it seems to me. My daughter has a long torso, and um, I think she can actually wear this uh, for the rest of the spring. Into the, um, we're still we're in Canada, and it's still snowing and things here. So, anyways, um, this was from Oshkosh Kids, originally twelve dollars, and again, I picked it up for two dollars. I wasn't quite sure that they were having a two dollar sale on some of these items, so. I only picked up these two. I do plan to hopefully go back later this week and find some more things for them, um, my kids, for um, next year because, again, Oshkosh and Cherokee and they had Chico, they had Gap Kids and things, and those brands are um, really nice. And to get things for $2, it's really great. So then I got my son some shorts, and these were $4, and they're, um, what do you call it, Circle Brands, so these are Target. And then there was, um, so that's the darker pair, and then this is more of a blue pair, again, $4. <clears throat> and so those will be for this summer. And then lastly were these gray shorts. These were also um, Cherokee brand. And those will be great for like church or um, if we go to the library or someplace nice, he could wear those. And then I picked up some more hand towels for a bathroom. So these are Walmart brand. Um, the original price was $4.47, but at this liquidation store, everything is between 30 and 90% off. Mostly it's usually between 40 and 60 or 70. So these are actually 70% off, and I think I got them for around $1.60 for two hand towels. We buy a lot of these because they're white, and I don't really bleach them, Um they can kind of get faded and yucky quickly, but for $1.60 for two, it's no big deal to buy new ones. And then same thing with washcloths. Um, I These actually match my bath towels. I don't know. I don't know what brand these are. I'm not sure if they're Target. Um, they don't say. I'm guessing either Target or Walmart. However, it's the same um, pattern that we have and my towels are from Target so um, washcloths anyways they get kind of dingy after a couple years of like washing off makeup and stuff like that so I got a cup I got three to refresh and I think these were all maybe a dollar each they're really soft okay so um, these uh, baking cups were 50% off um, you know they're just muffin tin papers and they were cute and I also got another pack as well uh, just plain white ones again 50% off these were not from the liquidation store but they were from the drugstore and these were on clearance and these were $1.34 these are um, powder pads and I like to use these actually for putting powder on my face um, I press it in and um, holds my makeup all day so I was pretty excited to see that they were a buck 34 I just I washed them um, but after several uses they can get a little not great so it's nice to have some backups and then I was so excited to find this. This was uh, 60 cents and it's a cherry pitter. Um, I'm hoping to can cherries this year. I'm gonna go home and we, I'm from like a really agricultural area in Pennsylvania. 
and there's cherry trees and stuff. Um, so I'm hoping to go pick cherries and then can them. And then this cherry pitter I thought would be nice to try out um, rather than doing them by hand or with a straw. Um, anyways, 60 cents. And then lastly, I picked up some summer stuff. Um, this beach ball uh, says $3, but it was only 90 cents. And granted, I can get a beach ball at the dollar store, but our dollar stores here, everything, the least amount that you will pay is $1.25. So anyways, I'd like the polka dot. And then I got the kiddos some tools for working either in their sandbox or a garden. I got them each a shovel, and these all turned out to be 60 cents each. Um, they, so they'll each get a shovel, and my daughter will get the pink rake, and my son will get the blue one. And then we also picked up, they had lots of DVDs. Um, my husband uh, picked up, what was it called? Um, the People vs. OJ, that miniseries. Um, that was originally $30, and I think it was 50% off. Um, but he's been watching that and really enjoying it. So anyways, that is my haul. All the little things that we brought into our world in the past couple days. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.